Hey guys, what's up? And this is here, and welcome back to another exciting video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this Squid Game inspired visual effect inside Blender and After Effect. This was part of a challenge from Flame CGI. My artwork did not get selected. After that, I did some tweaks, and that video goes viral on Instagram, and I got around three million views. So let me show you how I uh, did this, and I will try to open some of my blender project file and i will show you the process if you learn something from this video please hit the like button subscribe our channel and go and check out some of our amazing tutorial i also created some really really cool courses so you can go there and watch that too so yeah let's get started this amazing video okay so this is the folder of flame cgi squid game competition so if you can see these are the 31 blender files so mostly I will try to open a few and I will show you how I did it. Everything started from 3D tracking and this is the footage. You can see there is a woman running and jumping in the video and this can confuse the tracker. That's why I have to mask this. Then I 3D track the camera and, and I got a good 3D camera track. And after that I created here you can see a lot of 3D solids based on my imagination where I want to do something. And I created multiple just so that I can get information on that specific uh, location. Once it done, I exported all these data inside Blender using A to Blend add-on. And I have many tutorials on this channel as well as. So if you are new here, I will consider go and check out some of our tutorials. So let me close this for now. We will back again. We'll we'll talk about the compositing. And this is the first shot you can see. This looks really nice for me because every plane is sticking on its own places and uh, this was really nice. So after tracking this is the basic shape which I created and align with my scene so it matches the perspective and overall you know the direction where I'm going to move further. So this is the basic layout. You can see these are the basic planes which I created so far. Uh, here what I did, I selected one plane and simply extruded that. Here you can see this is a very simple mesh. You can see I extruded them and uh, then I duplicated multiple times and I place all these base models on every location where I want to do the simulation and where I want to perform the girl landing. So this is the basic uh, layout for that. And I guess this is the part of lighting where I did the lighting and for the lighting I simply used a simple HDRI for a HDRI heaven. So if I go to the film and disable the transparent you, here you can see the HDRI which I have plugged over here and try to manually tweak the rotation of the HDRI to get the shadow according to our real world footage. So if you we'll observe the shadow here you can see the girl shadow is seems like this video was uh, shot in to midday so that's why i did this and this this is the project where i did the texturing so for the texturing it was very easy there is a two type of texture one is based on the video so if i select this one where the the woman is landing so if i go to the shader editor i plugged a texture basically a video the same video which we are using for the creation node wrangler and i plug this as a window and i keep the auto refresh and increase the frames so for these uh, uh, tiles where the destruction is going to be happen i have to keep the texture same all the time so after destruction it will not you know change so for this what i did i use a simple image from the video so basically i uh, if I'll go here, so I move my videos and I uh, I check where this full tile is visible and I use that texture to do the texturing over here and to keep the texture stay all the time I use a UV project modifier over here and here I'm using a UV project uh, node also to you know plug these things over here and this is what I have did for the texturing for the whole video mainly for the you know these two parts which is very necessary 
okay so here uh, if i'll open these are some uh, other files where i was doing some experiment for the below holes so here you can see it feels like there is a you know some broken tile kind of a effect so these were the part of experiment where i was experimenting like what will work what will not work which will look right or not something like that so and this is the part where i did the destruction so for the destruction i simply join all these uh, tiles together so that i have one object to perform this rbd you know destruction and for that i am using rbd lab 1.6 version i will share the download link in my video description so you can go there and download it and if you want to see and if you want to know more about this please let me know i will make a complete tutorial about the destruction using rbd lab this is really cool because later in the video i created the dust debris smoke all this from this uh, rbd lab okay so here you will notice domain is jumping and you can see this is jumping and later i go with the clean layout but i change some texturing so if i go to the rendered mode you can see and if i solo this <laughs> this is a weird kind of a texture but i am using with a color ramp with a varanoid texture to you know you can see change the pattern and this is it and same goes for the roughness as well as so uh, this is what i have used for the you know squid game type theme textures in here and suddenly you will see some you know light bouncing because i am recording it around uh, 5 pm and sun is on this direction so sunlight is coming on my table and this is bouncing the light okay so this is the thing for the destruction and all these things let me uh, open the maybe here you will notice all the chunks and later i change the color of chunk to similar of squid game color so it will be more uh, relatable to our game and our concept so once my video got rejected i simply open the file again and i did some more experiment i downloaded some uh, 3d models of these guys and i also placed the banner over here to make sure it's visible more time and this was the final video uh, basically the final file and uh, in this part i was satisfied so let me close this and let me open after effect once again to show you the compositing so this is the video right you know this so this is the color pass which i exported uh, from blender this is the shadow pass i have a video on my channel like one complete video for blender visual effect on that i explained everything this is the ao pass which is adding just a bit more detail in my video and i choose this one and there are a bunch of part of a roto you can see and these help me to keep my object on top of our 3d render so this is a final video and after this i did some uh, s sound design inside premiere pro and uh, added some last tweak so the, here you can see i added some more contrast in uh, premiere pro and i added some also some sound effects here as well as and the first video which i used uh, which i submitted is totally different so if i <coughs> so you can see this is the first video which i submitted i added some uh, sign over here like broken floor but here you will notice this is not visible so that's why in later video like in the second edition i removed this sign over here and i added my uh, billboard over this side and added these squid game guards over here and this was really good so i was recording over here i just want to show you my you know simple setup so this is the place where i was doing some work there behind you can see the npcd logo it is you can see 
this is the place where I live this English. And from the balcony, I get this kind of view inside my room where we have this setup going on. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from this video. If you are interested, go and check out some of our amazing courses. And in the upcoming weeks, I will share something more exciting. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much for loving me. I am NPS Ready and I will see you next time. Until then, keep working, keep smiling. Bye-bye and take care guys.